Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What is up YouTube? I'm here today because I'm going to do a review on something that I had a last video on and it did amazing so I'm like obviously people care about this. So I'm going to be doing a review on three different waist trimmers. Let's start it off right and let me do some comparisons of a waist trimmer and a waist trainer. So a waist trimmer is something that you put around your waist when you're working out in order to engage more of a sweat in that area. A waist trainer is something that you put on your waist in order to get a certain body form. We are not doing waist trainers during this video. Um, I highly do not recommend waist trainers. They actually are probably one of the worst things for you. They can hurt your ribs. Not a great thing to invest in. So I'm going to go over what the difference is between the three of them. Obviously the pricing is different and that's probably why you clicked on this video because you're wondering what is going to be the best bang for your buck. First things first, we have the Sweet Sweat Band. I am a big fan of the Sweet Sweat Band. I have many reasons, so I might be a little biased during this video. Just kidding, I'm not gonna be biased, don't worry. It is one of the best bands out there, I think so far, just from trying different ones, but we are going to compare them to two that I haven't tried yet. Sweet Sweat Band is $36.99. That is not including tax or shipping. So this is definitely a little bit more expensive. The inside of it is very sleek. I'm pretty sure that this is a size small. So this is how big it is. It is pretty long. Next up we have Direct Sweat. Not gonna lie. A little bit of a knockoff of the Sweet Sweat. It's got sent to me from Amazon. It is $19.99. That is not including tax or shipping. It is almost just as long. I'd say probably just as long. Only thing that is very different is the yellow around the waist and also the flexibility of it. So this one, you know, it's pretty jelly. It bends. I can literally put my hand around it. And it's easy. This one is kind of harder. I have to really, you know, scrunch it to get around it. It's just not as flexible. As I was at Winners, I was actually picking up some at-home stuff in order to do a workout because I didn't want to do this in the gym. I seen a waist trimmer that was only $7.99. So on the wall in Winners, there was probably like six different types of these, but I just picked up the cheapest one because why not? I haven't even opened it up yet. This is my first time seeing what it looks like. No color, all black. Uh, the Velcro on the inside, so it doesn't have a flap like the Sweet Sweat does. The texture is almost like a, a foam, so that's a little bit odd. So this is the Form Fit 8 inches wide waist trimmer. So it says it's neoprene, that's what it is. I really like, really, really, really like this. What I'm going to do, because I am going to bang this video out in one day, I'm not going to do take three days to film it because I really want to get this content out. It's been something that I wanted to work on for quite a while, so I'm going to do what I can in about an hour and a half workout with three different waistbands. I'm going to do the exact same circuit with each waistband. So I am going to use the Sweet Sweat Gel with each waistband. The reasoning behind that is because of the fact that the Sweet Sweat Gel is going to increase my sweat no matter what. It takes a lot for me to sweat, so that is why I do want this, just to get the full benefit out of it. It's great, I love it. One of my favorite products by far. I did a review about this, so I'll link it down below if you really are interested in hearing about it. I'm going to start with with the actual Sweet Sweat Band, the $36.99 band, just because I know what quality it is, I know what I'm going to get out of it, so we might as well just get that out of the way. I'm going to rank these out of three different things. So first of all is the flexibility and the quality of the band, because that is the most important part. When you're moving around, when you're doing physical activity, you don't want to feel uncomfortable. You're able to bend over, that you're able to twist. The second one is going to be the look of it on you. Like what does the band look like on you when you're working out? You don't want to walk around a gym and feel intimidated because you have this big thing around your waist. The third one is, does it work? I don't want to have to do a two hour workout in order to get the results out of this. I don't want to have to keep adjusting it in order for it to stay tight. We are going to test that out right here, right now. Stay with me. 
first I need the Perica. I've already, I taught my spin class this morning and then I have this like really, really bad headache. So I ate and then I had a nap and now I feel fine. So just drinking more water, but I need pre workout right now because I'm exhausted. We are going to rock this workout though. Let's do this. Alrighty friends, I am set up here. So this is what it looks like. to do 20 air squats, 20 kettlebell swings, hip thrusts with this 25 pound dumbbell um, on the couch here, some goblet squats, again with the dumbbell or the kettlebell, whichever one I'm feeling. And then I'm going to do some planks and then go straight into these knee tucks with these um, things as well. I'm going to do everything for 15 minutes until it's up and I'm just going to get a good sweat on just to see what the band has in store for me. At least starting out with my sweet sweat band. So I'm just gonna go over about how the feel and the comfort is of the band. So this band is actually awesome. It moves with your body. The only thing really is like if you're bending over, it's definitely not that flexible, but the whole form of it is awesome. And it's easy to readjust and make it tighter if you need to. When I wake up, wake up, wake up, what do you do there? team I am actually very sweaty right now maybe I just don't usually push myself that hard but I'm just like trying to really get a good sweat on so that you guys can see what this band is really made of Woo! is absolutely drenched if you cannot tell look at that it is pretty sweaty obviously the sweet sweat has a big, big impact on what happened there. But the verdict is, is that this band basically suffocated my stomach enough in order to produce that sweat. So that is what I'm looking for. That is what this band is supposed to do. The fact is, is that this band did what it needed to do. I'm going to test out the other ones to see if they keep up with this band. The benefit for the other two bands is that I am already sweaty. I My heart rate's already up, so it is going to be easier for me to sweat. I'm going to kind of like bring my heart rate down. I am going to rest for just a little bit. I'm going to wipe off all the sweet sweat. Then I'm going to reapply and then put the next band on so that it's kind of an even shot. All right, so next up is the good old direct sweat. Pre-workout has me amped up. I am ready. I, even if I wanted to chill out, I couldn't. I would. I have to work out. You apply it pretty generously, so obviously that's why you sweat a lot because it's basically just this kind of like heating up and, and getting all like sweaty, but yeah, so here we go. The flexibility of this band is definitely not like the sweet sweat one. It restricts quite a bit. Um, you can't move as fluently, but it's still a good band for what you're paying for. It doesn't stretch as much, um, it's not as long, but it's still a good band. Okay, round two done with this band. Once again, incredibly sweaty. All right, so this is what you get for $19.99. Okay, this is going to drip all over the floor. You can see on the band, absolutely sweaty. You have to say that the sweet sweat has a huge impact on the sweatiness, but the fact is, is that this band did exactly what the sweet sweat band is. So, if you are not worried about um, the feeling of the band, you know, like the one, the direct sweat one is obviously not as flexible as the sweet sweat one. So for the $36, you are paying for better quality, um, but you're definitely not paying for any different results. So, um, obviously without the sweet sweat though, you're not going to get that drenched feeling. You're not going to get that sweaty sweatiness. So I guess the verdict is that they do the same, but you are paying for better quality with the sweet sweat one than the direct sweat one. And that's just about it. The direct sweat one, I definitely don't like the look of it as much as I do like the sweet sweat one because it is a little bit more clumpier. It doesn't really like suck to your skin. It um, kind of just like sits there. So I am ready to do my last round of workouts 
with the $7.99 waist trimmer, whatever you want to call it. It's not a waist trainer though, not a waist trainer. I'm going to apply the sweet sweat like usual, put this on like usual, work out like usual, and then give my review like usual. All right, so the band is definitely not one of the best things. As you can see right here, when I put the Velcro onto it, it doesn't connect evenly, and I, it also was really, really awkward on my stomach. So it was really hard to get up to a point where the Velcro wasn't like touching my skin and that the whole band was connected. So it still was pretty uncomfortable here. Um, the best thing about it though is that it's all black and it really does like camouflage well into my pants. You could barely tell that it was there. And if I had a shirt over it, you definitely could not tell it was there. There was a couple flaps that just hung out though that would get caught on a shirt or if in your bra if you were wearing it like that. So that is definitely one of the more annoying parts. I'm done. That's actually a really hard workout. Just give me a second. I just want to say in the beginning right now that this band, like even though it's $7.99 and even though I know it's going to be sweaty underneath here, the quality of this is not great. The bottom of it doesn't have like an elastic feel, so I can already feel a sweat like going down to my bum, going down to my like legs. I can feel it just doesn't have like anything to stop the sweat so that it doesn't like spread anywhere else if you know what I mean. So like it's just like, like a flap. It doesn't have elastic like this does or like the sweet sweat does. So without that, that um, strap, you're going to be like noticing that the sweat's gonna be going everywhere, which is like, you know, if you don't care because you are gonna get sweaty, it doesn't really matter. Still $7.99, like it's pretty cheap, but all right, I'm going to take it off. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. It's basically the same. I can already like feel the sweat, so it's gonna look the same. But honestly, like it's all about the quality to me. So let's do this. Okay, the sweat already just dripped down. And there she is. All right, so obviously the band is soaked. Once again, it's because of the sweet sweat. It is because of this product. When you Velcro it, um, there's a lot of things like sticking out. Like it doesn't feel very secure on my stomach. Like it was slipping up and down the whole time. Like the look of this one better. Love it if the sweet sweat one was as tiny as that. I'm going to clean off, I'm gonna Calm down, I'm gonna have a protein shake and then I'm gonna tell you guys my verdict. All right, YouTube fan, here we go. The three things I am ranking each one on are the flexibility and the quality together, the look of the band when it's on you and when it's off of you, does it work and how good. I'm going to obviously start out with the Sweet Sweat because that was the first one. All black, just the Sweet Sweat logo on the corner there. It is pretty long. I'm gonna say it right now, it's my favorite one out of all three. Obviously, um, I like it. If I didn't have it and I had to purchase a band, I probably would go with that one, not gonna lie. The flexibility of it is amazing. It's flexible, it doesn't hold you back from doing any exercises. You are free to do whatever you need to do and it kind of moves with your body. The quality, also amazing. The Velcro on it, it does not feel like it's going to slip off. It forms to your body. The inside of it is going to do its job. It's going to make you sweat no matter what if you have the sweet sweat or not on. Um, it is a great overall sweatband i enjoy it i really advise you try it out 36 dollars is you know it's more than what the other bands cost but it's still like not that expensive second thing about it is the look of the band it's black i love that obviously they have to plug their logo here so the sweet sweat's big oh my god the speaker just scared the crap of me so i'm not bad you know what sweet sweat i'm gonna wrap it whatever i'm probably gonna be wearing a shirt over it if i ever wear it to the gym anyway so it doesn't really matter third does it work Yes, it works. It is a waist trimmer. It does its job. It has to or else they probably wouldn't sell it. So like, why not? Um, it just works definitely, I would say, better than the other ones. And let's move on to the second one. The Direct Sweat Amazon $19.99 waist trimmer that got sent to me. First thing, flexibility slash quality. Flexibility is good this way, but if you want to bend it like this way, it's very stiff versus sweet sweat one very flexible this way and very flexible this way it's thick it 
you know, is worth your money. On my last video about Sweet Spot, a lot of people said that they bought, they purchased this on Amazon. So when I got sent this, I was like, oh, this is the one that everyone was talking about. Second thing, the look of the band and the look of it on you. I do not like this. I don't like the yellow. I'm gonna be wearing a shirt over it, so it's not a huge deal. The logo is massive versus the Sweet Sweat one. It's like, it's pretty big. Third thing, does it work? Yes, like it works. So if you are willing to buy this for $19.99, it's gonna be worth your money. It does its job. It's a good bang for your buck. If you are not willing to pay $36, if you are not willing to pay $19, but you are willing to pay $7.99, here is the band for you. I got this at Winners. If you go to Winners and you can't find it, I'm sure you're gonna find something like it. They have like a wide range of these. So flexibility, great. Just like the Sweet Sweat one, super flexible, movable. Only bad thing about it is that when it was on me, it was like moving up and down compared to those ones. But if you've never tried these ones, then maybe this one's for you. It doesn't matter because you won't know the difference. Look at the band, I love it. It's black. It's, there's nothing to it. The logo is this small, like you can barely see it. The one thing I like about this the most is the look of it. This Velcro is actually on the band. It was kind of awkward because some of the Velcro was actually hitting my skin because of the way that when I strapped it over, it was kind of like diagonal. So that wasn't fun. And since the Velcro only stops right here, this was out and, and moving. Let me know how you like this video, if you like reviews. I really love doing these. Um, it was a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and see you later, YouTube. Bye.